Alright, so boom, y'all. This is podcast, podcast, boom and chaos show season two. We had to bring this shit back since season one. Such a dub. I was being a bully. Culture was being a bully. But we passed all that shit now. <laughs> we, <laughs> we got season two on the way. But for this season, though, we got a special guest in the fucking building, y'all. Go ahead, introduce yourself, Playboy. What the fuck going on, niggas? Hip hop and community, niggas. It's that nigga GB. You already know who I am, cuz. Y'all know who Gully Boy is. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Here are my niggas. You know what I'm saying? Showing love and support to the hip hop community. Let's get it. What we gonna talk about today, y'all? First, we gonna start talking about uh, just YouTube burnout, bro. Pretty much every YouTuber, we reach a point where we be like, you know what? <laughs> I might be done with this shit in a minute. <laughs> 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 There's a, like people who not a YouTuber, bro. I'm telling y'all, y'all don't understand. We all as YouTubers reach a point where we just get sick of this shit. Whether it be YouTube itself on some bullshit or just different viewers, it's a lot that goes into YouTube. But we are gonna talk about that. We are gonna talk about Anthony Fantano. Not specifically him, but, like, people who just run with every fucking thing he says. I think he's just, like, the god of music reviews <laughs> and, like, go with his opinion on everything. And then after that, we're just going to talk about, like, times we got in trouble in school, like, going to detention, getting suspended, shit like that. So y'all going to fuck with this season just like last season, I promise you. For sure. I wanted, to, to. I wanted to start by asking culture because, like, for all the people out there in TKG – yeah, y'all, y'all already know this nigga. I ain't trying to call y'all a homeboy, but <laughs> my my nigga culture, he be this nigga would make a community post. He'll go on Twitter and be like, "Yo, I'm about to take a break from YouTube. I'm burnt out. I'm getting sick of this shit." And then the next day, he upload a half hour video. <laughs> so, <laughs> so I gotta ask you, culture, like what, like what is your mindset around YouTube right now? Why do you be going back and forth from I'm sick of this shit to like uploading three videos a week? I'm starting to think I'm fucking bipolar. Uh, but <laughs> <laughs> um, on some real shit, bro, uh, I, I do not know why I keep, you know, going back and forth with my fucking decisions and shit. Because it, it actually gets on my fucking nerves, too. One second, I will just detest this fucking app. I will I will hate YouTube to death. I won't even get the fuck in to watch videos. Like, I, it, you know what I'm saying? I just want to get the fuck away from it. It's so much that goes into YouTube more than the fucking common subscriber and viewer knows or thinks. The editing, the fucking dedication you got to give to your channel, the, you know what I'm saying, all the hours. Because I've been putting three hours plus into my fucking videos now versus before when I used to just, you know, rink, you know what I'm saying, put some little bullshit video together and just, oh, that shit will take, what, the video will take 30 minutes in and the edits will take like five minutes and then you just get some little half-ass video. You started I've taking YouTube been, more serious, though. That's why you had to invest more time in it. Yeah, You probably just got to stop announcing that shit. Like, you just, like, like I said, that's the Jay-Z shit, bro. Shit, I'm about to retire, y'all, and that nigga drop seven mixtapes and shit <laughs> two months later. You just got to just, it's like, like, when you feel like you burnt out, just just don't announce that shit to everybody. Everybody like, oh, this nigga finna quit again. Just you know, chill because your ass do upload a lot of sh a lot of videos and shit. So <laughs> I feel like if you somebody that upload consistently like that, like you got a right to fucking take a break, like for a the week. only thing with that though, Gully, this nigga culture would go like. Two days I'll upload a video. People be like, damn, is he okay? <laughs> oh, that's that bullshit. Yo, shit, bro. Like, funny, funny, they on that bullshit funny shit. because, like I funny. said, if a nigga is giving you content, bro, what, like, what you mean? Like, can, can a nigga relax? <laughs> <laughs> shit. Thanks, bro. Funny shit, bro. Um, the very second that I announced my break, right, um, I lost literally 20 fucking subscribers, right? So, um, I mean, that's not a lot to y'all niggas, but shit, uh, I lost fucking 20 subs right off the gate, you know what I'm saying? And niggas talk about some, uh, you know, I I put attention onto that. I'm like, damn, how I lose some fucking subscribers and I'm just trying to So chill. did you say that you was, did you say that you was quitting or taking a break? Uh, I was taking, nah, bro. For me to quit, I would have to have Okay, if a nigga, if nigga said he taking a break, then, oh, fuck this nigga taking a break. <laughs> 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 You don't take no breaks around this bitch. Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> like, I feel like you say, you, oh, I'm quitting then. Yeah, like, nigga, I'm out then. Shit, goddamn me. But, like, I'm finna take a break, though. 
Damn. They be tripping off of that, yeah, bro. bro. <laughs> Them niggas yeah. ruthless, bro. Niggas yeah, can't yeah, even <laughs> enjoy their time to they sit. They got a fucking replacement right around the corner from my ass, dog. Shit. But on some real shit, um, the first time that I considered, what was it? My, I called it a retirement. Uh, that had to play into my mental health. That and my engagement from my subscribers was fucked. Like, people seems like they gave a fuck about the videos, but they didn't give a fuck about me. And that's the biggest misconception on YouTube. It seems like people will watch your videos and give a fuck. It seems like they give a fuck about the uh, creator Hell and not no. just the video. I can tell you it, that right off back. That's why yeah. I don't. That's why I don't put my business out there like that. You know what I'm saying? Because Niggas don't give a fuck about you. They just want to, hey, where the next video? Where the next video is coming out? So I don't never get too personal about shit because when I go through, because mental health is some shit that we all fucking go through. You feel mm -hmm. me? Just, I don't know yeah. where niggas get depressed. So I'm not announcing that shit because Nick, you're going to have some people out there that's going to be like, man, fuck your depression, nigga. Where the motherfucking videos at, nigga? Right. <laughs> right. Get the fuck out of here, my nigga. That's why I don't, yeah, I don't. You just gotta, you just, you just gotta keep this YouTube shit like strictly. I'm um, uploading for my subscribers, like all the personal, trying to talk to people on a personal level. Nah, man. <laughs> yeah, you're right. Everything gonna be saying is facts because at the end of the day, it don't be none of these niggas' business. Right, and then like you can, you like you like you just said, all the coach. You think niggas care about your, sh you know? Damn, these niggas said, nah, they don't give a. For the most part, they don't give a fuck, bro. Yeah, like, and most, like, some people, some people are ruthless we, with that shit. You could be saying your fucking mom in the hospital. They'll be like, "All right, when she get out, uh, when your next video dropping?" On me, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah, bro. Like, you ain't even lying, bro. You ain't even lying about like, that. That's that's fucked up, bro. Like that's why, like I said, don't get too personal with this shit, bro. Right. Niggas gonna use that shit against you, type shit. The sad part is, I fucked up already because I've got close relationships with some of my subs and a nigga like you know what i'm saying a blackie speaks type of nigga or a cdtv productions type of nigga don't have close relationship with their subs but yet they have a really big fucking fan base and it's because they play this mysterious celebrity role where it's like you know you gotta it feels real fucking special to get a retweet you can even compare it to real celebrities like yeah, these niggas, these niggas ain't cool with the motherfuckers that open fan clubs for them because yeah. <laughs> right. I'm pretty sure they know them niggas is crazy. Like, y'all can, yeah, yeah, be a fan of, over there, goddamn me, but don't come over here with that shit. <laughs> shit every barb, yeah, that's just how it is when you a public figure, but you can't because you don't, because at the end of the day, you don't know nobody, you don't know niggas, bro. Gotta treat it like the real world. I don't know these niggas, I ain't finna tell you all my personal shit and I don't know you like that and then like I've had a couple of crazy ass fans in the past and I just like bro I ain't y'all niggas when I had my Facebook these niggas used to hit me up saying all type of crazy weird shit That's oh, I, why got, I, I gotta hear I gotta hear this hold on bro you got some crazy man fans look bro this was back when I was blowing up 2017 100 words rappers a million views so you already know motherfuckers is like coming at me on that shit, bro. Like that's the main reason why I deleted my Facebook page because I was just getting a whole bunch of weirdo ass comments, bro. Like it was this one white dude, bro. I no, mind you, I don't respond to shit, but I see it. I'm like, what are these niggas on? This nigga kept messaging me, gully, 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 man. Come on, man. Talk to me, man. Please. Oh hell no! Like this nigga on some weird shit. <laughs> That's got to be what bad bitches go through, bro. That's got to be what, what bad fuck, bitches. Wait, what the fuck was that voice, nigga? <laughs> That's how I imagined that nigga would sound. You know, yeah, as white dude. And then one oh message God. completely threw me off. He said, "Y'all know I got my little cartoon shit," and he was like, "My little cartoon cutout or whatever." He was mm -hmm. like, "I think he tagged me in a post." that he had created on his page. And he said, I'm going to make a bukkake out of this gully boy picture. I was like, hold on. Huh? If you do that, I'm going to fucking oh, fire your ass no. and beat your ass. <laughs> oh, God. And he was, and then when I, and then when I told him, I was like, bro, I'm going to block this shit out your stupid ass. He was like, no, gully, I just wanted a response. I was like, bro, 
This Facebook shit gotta go. I ain't gonna lie to you. <laughs> no, I, wait, I, wait, I ain't wait, gonna wait. lie to you. We laughing at it now, but that's some scary shit, low key. Like, what is wrong nigga. with this nigga, dog? Because I'm like, bro, what the f- like? Because I like I told y'all before this shit started, I'm just a regular ass nigga, bro. That just ha- happened to have gotten popular on some off the whim type shit. Mm-hmm. My nigga, I'm regular, just like. All y'all niggas, bro. Don't, don't try to don't treat me like I'm some king or no god. And I don't like that type of shit, bro. Like, fuck all that, bro. Cause that was like that shit scared the fuck out of me. For, like, I was like, this, like you gotta go. Like, it couldn't have been any scarier than when your Twitter was hacked. You said niggas tweeted your number out and you started getting oh phone my calls. God, bro. Yeah, bro. That shit was real. That now that now that was scarier. Cause I'm like, dude, this nigga got my motherfucking bank account. Like, what the fuck else do this? Nigga? Cause I don't know shit about these hacking ass niggas. They can fuck around and steal your whole life and shit. <laughs> so I was <just> like, <laughs> nah, don't be getting close to these niggas, bro. <laughs> shit, that shit dead out here. That shit big dead, bro. Yeah. You can like, you uh, can like live stream and like talk to niggas. Yeah, like, what's up with y'all? You know what I mean? But like, as far as like, let's, hey man, let's have a conversation. No. <laughs> yeah <laughs> see that's where i fucked up because i know some of these niggas first names bro on some real shit um yeah nigga, you tripped to the first name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah see i fucked up but here's my thing bro um it's a another thing that played a part in me wanting to take a break was again how all this shit started for me and how it all seems to be going i started out after uh, Amir had put me on and everything like that, and I gained my fan base and it's growing and everything, I call it the prime of my YouTube career, I guess. And, you know, TKG is what I call my subscriber, my, I guess, fan base, I guess you want to call it. But, um, you know what I'm saying? Everybody cool, everybody positive and shit like that. Nigga, there's like six niggas that are positive towards me anymore. Just, you know what I'm saying? From all them motherfuckers, like half these niggas can't stand me no more. And then it's like new niggas that fuck with me that don't even know <laughs> how all this shit got started. Realistically, uh, the last break that I tried to take was half a mental break, half just me trying to get away from all the negativity on my channel because, uh, yeah, like you said, bro, life goes on and shit. Niggas don't know how, how the fuck your life goes on after, you know, the cameras go off and shit. They don't know if your ass dealing with a foot. Like, I, niggas can't see the lower half of my body. I could be, have, I could have, you know what I'm saying? My fucking legs cut off all, all types of shit. I ain't know niggas don't know. I was going to be like. <laughs> <laughs> have, a, have, a, have a whole bitch sucking my dick while I'm fucking recording shit. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't niggas saying it's like a little half of my body. Niggas got their balls and dick swinging. Fucking <laughs> while they're recording shit. <laughs> Oh, but uh no nah, bro um yeah bro N- niggas don't know how this shit go when the, when the cameras go off bro like i got my own fucking house I, I i deal with my own you know what i'm saying car and everything like that pay my own bills all sorts of shit yeah like, see I'm niggas a, don't a, care about this shit <laughs> they don't give a fuck about none of that bro <laughs> like yeah. you just said bro you just gotta you know y'all fans cool i'm just gonna give y'all what y'all want it's just the content you know what i mean as far as the personal shit nah that's just how you gotta. That's just how you gotta keep it, bro. Like, like I said, you can live stream and talk to the niggas and shit. But like, as far as like messaging niggas on Facebook and shit, nah, nigga, fuck off. With that, with that being said, though, I'm surprised that girl, you even told people that your pops had died last year. Yeah, see, see, like even that, you know what I mean? Because I was going through some shit, you know, even then. But then I did, I did kind of slide it in the video, but I didn't really go in too deep about it. You know what I mean? Because it ain't nobody business. You know what I'm saying? Right. That's some yeah. personal shit that I'm going through. I don't need sympathy from nobody or nothing like that. That's that's my personal shit. I'm sure a couple of people hit you up about it, though. It's like, damn, but that's terrible to hear, you know? Mm, I mean, it was. I got comments saying RIP, Gully Pops, and all that shit. You know what I mean? But, yeah, I, I you know, that's, that's cool, the condolences and all that. But, like I say, I don't need to, like, talk more in depth about my personal life you know what i'm saying like that so when i when I, when I started youtube i think i was ungrateful as shit like uh <laughs> when it came to when i first created my youtube uh instagram page what had happened was i made a community post about it like telling niggas i got a youtube page excuse me instagram for my youtube now so 
if any niggas want to chat over there. Like I wasn't expecting, <laughs> I wasn't expecting people to be on some bullshit. But I had this kid. This little, I forgot this little white boy's name. I think his name was Cody or some shit. It's always a fucking white boy. <laughs> always God a damn. white boy. <laughs> Cause when a I, white boy hacked my motherfucking Twitter. He's the eye, right, bro. Okay. <laughs> we not even trying to be on no racist shit. It just conveniently is always white people. No, it's, 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 it's just expecting the obvious. God damn me. Like, it's just always a white boy. <laughs> what happened, bro? What's this fucking white boy name? First of all, I had like nine niggas DM me on Instagram the moment I made that post. And then it was a white boy named Cody who was like, you know, hey, what's up? And I was like, what's good, bro? Like, thanks for following. And then he was like, my name is Cody. What's your name? I'm like, Amir. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> and then that nigga hit you with the Annabelle intro. <laughs> <laughs> my name. What's, what's, your name? Name? <laughs> what's your name? <laughs> I've gotten those too, bro. I've gotten those too, bro. Like, here's what happened though. After I said, I'm like, nigga, my name is like Amir, <laughs> and then he was like, uh, he was like, oh, that's cool, that's cool. Like, what you doing? I'm like, bro, what do you want? <laughs> <laughs> No, oh, bro. Oh, no. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised you wound up bullying a fucking uh, whole ass another kid out here. Go, that was That's like, what you doing? <laughs> what you doing? Like, I did not want to be mean to that kid at all. But I was real. I'm like, bro, what do you want? Like, <laughs> like what do you mean? What I'm doing? <laughs> I thought he was gonna ask me, you know, some questions about like hip hop or some shit. This nigga, like, nah, for fine ass female, hit me up on that. I'm like, all right, what's Greg? You know what I Niggas, mean? <laughs> nah, I don't talk to y'all like that. <laughs> Go away. <laughs> nah, I, I actually, I actually made a post about that shit because I responded to Cody. I was like, bro, this ain't Christian mingle. Like, what do you want, bro? <laughs> <And> then, <laughs> when I, I made <laughs> nigga, blackpeoplemeet.com, nigga. What the fuck? <laughs> You know, you know what's, you know what's yeah. funny about the uh, the comment that you just said yesterday. A, a fucking subscriber hit me up asking me what you doing, where are your plans, how you doing? <laughs> did you respond man. to that shit? No, I did not. I, I viewed that shit and just went about my business, bro. Yeah, and I'm not. I, I mean, I'm not I, rude neither, bro. Like I, I don't mean to leave. Like I'm pretty sure that the person's gonna watch this video and yeah. see that and be like, "Oh my god, they, he called me." Out. It reaches a point where you be like, "But what the fuck am I supposed to say to this?" Like, <laughs> on me. But to be fair though, like some comments I do fuck with. Like when somebody be like, "Bro, I fuck with your channel a little," bit, I'll be like, "All right, that's what's up, bro. Keep watching. You feel me? Like that's what's up." But like all that, what you doing? Hi, how are you? Type nah, nigga. Like. I did have to check myself though because I'm I screenshotted me and Cody. I can't believe I'm calling this nigga by his name. I screenshotted me and Cody's conversation. I put that on uh my YouTube community tab. I was like, I low key regret already telling y'all niggas about my page because I got people like this hitting me up. And <laughs> I'll 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 say I did got you like at a, least scratch his name. Up. Hell no, I never do that. Never. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> they gonna know, they gonna know who it is. <laughs> niggas gonna know who it is. I'll, that nigga get, <laughs> you resp- you responsible for that nigga getting jumped right now. <laughs> <laughs> what happened was yeah, I, I'll, I'll say I got like a 60-40 response from this shit. And what I mean was I did have like a good amount of people. You know, they was laughing about it. They was like, bro, you wrong for that. Left my ass off. Like, bro, why this nigga yeah, that is t- petty is a why this nigga hit you up talking about what you doing? Like, what the fuck? What's wrong with that kid? But then it was like a good like 40% response. It was like, bro, I'm not even gonna lie, you ungrateful as fuck. You should be happy people even want to talk to you. Like, so I kind of had to check myself about that. What? Nah, my nigga. I ain't nah, fuck, grateful fuck, about yeah. that shit. <laughs> fuck fuck like that 40%. Said, Cause like I said, just, just that's just like, all right, if I see fucking Ice Cube in real life, bro, I'm gonna be like, bro, Q, you, you know what I'm saying? I've been listening to you since I was a kid. Let I me mean, keep that shit up, bro. Respect. I'm not finna be like, Q, bro. Oh my God. <laughs> you making, you making you yourself going, sound man? like the white boy. <laughs> <laughs> like, I, like, that's that weird shit. You hear me? Like, I ain't. <laughs> like, no, nah, fuck all that. You going to hang out with Chris Tucker? Huh? <laughs> I was like, you said something you can have ice cube, but like, you better go hang out with Chris Tucker. <laughs> Take me with you, type shit. <laughs> wow, y'all are terrible. But it, it was mainly it was mainly based on my subscriber count, though. This was way back when he had like twenty k. So that's why niggas was like, bro, this nigga got twenty k subs, acting like he a big dog. Like, chill. So that's why niggas, say, was, nigga, ma- niggas was mad niggas was mad at me for doing dog, that nigga. shit. <laughs> <laughs> what you doing? <laughs> yeah, that's, that's that weird shit. But uh. To to kind of end off on the uh, burnout shit, um, on my side, I don't know how many times I'm gonna keep on saying them. I mean, to be real, 
the very next time I say it, I probably wind up will wind up actually taking a fucking like a week off because I dead ass was about to take a month off from YouTube. Month, it's just <laughs> yeah, bro. I was about to be chilling. Like I was about to go to Jamaica and have my I ain't, ain't like, bro. Check it out. Ain't nothing wrong with taking a break from the shit, bro. If niggas got a problem with that, then that's just on them. You feel me? Like where you announce that shit for the people that be like you, you know, saying just to give niggas a heads up. But if niggas is like, man, what you mean you taking a break, man? Fuck the niggas, bro. <laughs> <laughs> fuck the niggas, man. Like, no, nah, funny yeah. enough, bro. It's it's no niggas that I'm not about to call my subscriber or anyone that I know pussy. You know, the subscribers not like that. There's no one that really come to me and say don't take a break or, uh, you know what I'm saying, tell me that they won't fuck with me after I'm gone or nothing like that. There are niggas, there's snakes everywhere in this world, bro. Like, there are niggas that watch you and don't give a fuck about you and will still watch you to wait for you to fuck up so then they can say something about it. So, um, even with that being the case, uh, nobody really, I'm not going to say has the balls to come out and say who gives a fuck about you taking a break, but I get some people say, okay, well, we'll still be here. Oh, blah, blah, blah. I ain't going to say the guy's name. Amir knows exactly what I'm talking about. Um, the one time I said I was going to take a break, uh, there was somebody that said, oh, uh, I'm going to be here when you come back. I looked at my subscriber count, and I seen this nigga, like, when I announced that I was coming back, I seen this nigga fresh to fucking, like, literally subscribe the same fucking day. So this nigga <laughs> literally unsubscribed and subscribed to me, like, literally when I said I was coming back. And that nigga promised that he wasn't going nowhere. So it's just crazy, bro. I it, like I said, there's snakes everywhere, bro. So I mean, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna ever halt my break for subscribers. And it, that sounds rude as shit, but at the end of the day, y'all niggas don't, y'all niggas ain't my bill. I ain't fucking none of my subscribers. You know what I'm saying? Like I'm, they ain't I'm paying your bills or nothing, bro. Yeah, you're not paying my bills. I mean, you know what I'm saying, bro. Just don't, you know, don't get so attached to these niggas, bro. Like, you, like, you here to entertain, and that's it. Because like you just said, like, it's, it's a lot of faceless YouTubers. That, that's all they do. And they got huge fan bases. Like, that should tell you, like, you ain't got to have personal relationships with your fans, bro. Look at any damn celebrity. You understand? So. What I was about to like, mention, niggas, <clears throat> shit. One thing this nigga culture really hated and regretted that he did was telling niggas his real first name. It be niggas calling him that like they cool with him. You know, yeah, it's funny. Uh, somebody somebody hit me up asking if they could actually call me that. But here's the thing. Um, <clears throat> I told him he could because me and that nigga actually are really fucking cool now. So, like, I mean, the guy barely watches my videos. I hit that nigga up every day. So me and him are just fucking friends now. But other niggas like uh amir knows uh chaos um i don't, I don't, I don't give a fuck if you watching the videos i can't i, I can't stand that one motherfucker um <laughs> i i i've banned this nigga hey, three fucking bully, times. <laughs> i don't give a shit bro Sir, uh, I, uh, you you might you might try to mask the bully like i don't care. Like, you know what i'm saying i don't give a fuck like i, I gully don't even know i stomp niggas out i go to uh, you know what i'm saying i don't care so um, niggas um, out. <laughs> this nigga don't know who he joined the podcast with. <laughs> he, yeah, like, who, he like, who are these two niggas now? <laughs> yeah, bro. Shit, wait till we get to the suspension stories. You, you, ain't, gonna, you ain't gonna stick around too long. Um, <laughs> oh, I ain't no bitch or nothing. Like, like oh, shit, this, this violent. I, got <laughs> I seen plenty of niggas get, get their ass whooped. So, hey, shit. Yeah. Shit, it might be, it might have been me beating that nigga niggas ass. <laughs> but, uh, uh, but yeah, um, you talking about chaos. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I've blocked this nigga three times. Okay. <laughs> and he's made three and he's made just literally the same fucking name for his account. <clears throat> and he'll, he'll join my shit again. Like he's all hunky dory. Like, oh shit. Like he'll just pick up where he left off and shit. And I was, he'll just be like, oh, well, huh. like I was saying, like, no, nigga, we, we gonna keep doing this. We gonna keep doing this shit to the end of time. Nigga, I got all day. I got my whole life to keep banning your ass. But, um, <clears throat> I don't know where the fuck I oh yeah he he kept saying my first name and shit so Amir had to call him out his bullshit talking about some this nigga does not want you to call him by his first name this nigga talking about some are you assuming that and this nigga Amir had to be like no this nigga has told y'all like bro these uh uh bro I can't with the subs no more I can't <laughs> yeah bro they, you gotta chill on that shit bro like I like I keep saying bro just entertain these niggas bro don't fucking 
I'm trying to be friends. Like, nah, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> that shit dead, bro. Because look what happened to some of these celebrities that got, like, fans that just stalked them and shit. You Getting know doc- I mean? doxed like, and nah. shit, yeah. Right. No, no, no. Because at the, cause like I said, at the end of the day, you don't know people, bro. You don't know people. Cause that's why I stay far away from fans and shit. Like I, like I said, I respect the comments to people be like, man, keep it up, bro. You killing shit. You know what I'm saying? Like the motivational comments and shit. I fucks with that. But oh, God. when a nigga hit me up talking about some hot, <laughs> what are you doing? Like, uh, nah, nigga. <laughs> why'd you say what? Why'd you say that word? You could have said another word, man. <laughs> you say what? Uh, it's a long story. <laughs> it's a long story. Like I said, you gotta check out the podcast, bro. Okay. I was like, shit, nah. You gotta fuck all that. <laughs> it, it, it definitely, we all definitely had encounters where you just be looking at people like some shit, like you kind of like laugh it off. You'd be like, but what the fuck was wrong with this nigga? Ha ha. Other times you'd be like, yo, this nigga look keep tripping. Like, who the fuck is this guy? I be feeling bad, bro, when I be seeing like some of the niggas that be saying wild, wild shit. I be feeling bad. I don't take it apart. I mean, again, I'm too nice for my own fucking good. Like, I've li- I literally talked to all these niggas. I've Got on phone calls with some of these niggas to fucking make sure they all right and all. Oh all hell no! <laughs> yeah, I, didn't, I didn't even I didn't, know you. Was, I didn't even know you was going that far. <laughs> I'm hey, too me, nice, bro. This time, time, bro. Like, nah, nigga. <laughs> I'm too fucking nice, dude. I'm too nice. It's, I didn't it's, even it's know you was going nice. that far with these niggas. It's too what? nice. Now nah, we gonna man. Come over to crib, man. Let's play 2K. No, nah, oh, hell no. Nah. Nope, nope, Might as well, nigga. <laughs> Nope. Yeah, you fucking phone shit. calls with you. How long you be on the phone with you, nigga, bro? Let's play Minecraft or Madden together. Nah, shit, I'm good. I might as well have How a shot. How you be on the phone with these niggas, <laughs> <laughs> Two hours and shit. Nah, bro. Not even that. Not uh. even that. <laughs> Not even that. I just, I, I, I'm again. I'm too fucking nice. I, I'll be talking to these niggas to help them out and shit. And I'm I mean, trying to look. I'm trying to look at it from the subscribers' perspective. What the fuck did they say when well, you gave them niggas your number? No, <laughs> no, nah, nah, hell no, nah, no. Nah, not my number. Not my number. It'd be on like Instagram or some shit like that. Hell no. Nah. Oh, Facetime and shit. Damn. Yeah, yeah. On fucking on Instagram or some shit. No, nah, hell no. Nah. If a nigga you said, get, you if, said call this, I thought nigga that's your number. <laughs> Nah, bro. If I if I'm calling motherfuckers and giving out my number, I must want to die or some shit. That's that's that's, that's, <laughs> that's what that's what he was doing. <laughs> that's what he was like, hold on, bro. Your ass. I would nah, never. <laughs> nah, because I mean, I, I know it's like okay from the YouTubers' perspective, it's like what the fuck. But it's like some of these niggas don't have nobody to talk to. And again, like you said, Gully, we that are ain't my regular. problem. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like you said, bro. Like you said, bro. We, we, it's not my problem. Like you said, bro. Like, we regular. Listen, we all man. Listen, listen. You doing? You doing? Because I like these are the type of comments I like right here. When people say, "Bro, I was going through some shit," and when I watch your video, that shit brightened my day. Like that right there alone is basically all you need to be doing. Like perfecting your craft on this shit to entertain your audience because it's a lot of people out there that be having bad days and shit going through some i get those comments a lot and i'll be loving them comments and i just my motherfucking dog just died bro but i watched your video that just made me laugh all day bro like thank you like that's the like that's what you're here for bro just just entertain and just brighten people up through your personality in your videos my nigga we ain't got to, you know what I'm saying, do all the little therapy session with you. <laughs> That's the therapy right there. This funny-ass video that I just uploaded. That's the therapy. So tell me where it all started. What? Where it all started. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, all right, all then, that TKG. Nigga. That's all right, TKG. Crazy. If, if y'all listening, TKG, fuck y'all. Fuck the rest of y'all. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, ain't, it ain't even fuck nobody. It ain't, it ain't it ain't even it ain't even that. Yeah, I, I, I just, hear you, bro. I hear you. I hear you. I'm, bro, I'm, I'm like, fucking, I don't I'm like bullshit. that's I'm do, I'm doing I'm doing I'm I'm putting my energy into something to you know Ooh, provide shit. for provide for you to brighten your day up and shit. You know what I'm already doing that. Why do I need to talk to you on the damn phone? <laughs> right. Because <laughs> we all you, got that. You. We all got that when we go through something, we got certain artists that we listen to to brighten our mood up. I don't need to fucking call Nas. Like, Nas, <laughs> talk to me, bro. Like, <laughs> I don't need to call these niggas. I don't need to talk to these niggas. <laughs> but I can listen to their music 
and it, <laughs> and, it, and it brightened me. It, it, it made my day better. Music is the best of that shit. You know what I'm saying? Oh, bro. All <laughs> right. Just, that, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what else to tell you, man. That, 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 kind, of hey, man, you me, that kind of puts me in a rough-ass dilemma. Like, I feel like if somebody was to hit me up, like, yo, Amir, bro, I just, like, bro, I'm fresh out of high school. I don't know what my, I don't know what to do with my life, man. I don't got no goals set up. It's like, so I just ignore that nigga? <laughs> Like, I don't know what to say, now. Like, why you asking uh, me this shit? shit <laughs> Better go yeah. talk. You, I mean, it, it's it's more people that he can talk to. He don't gotta talk. Why the fuck you gotta talk to a YouTube nigga? Yeah, I'm like, why you asking me this shit? Yeah. You can talk to, you can talk to, I don't know, you can go to some colleges and talk to the professors about this <laughs> and shit, bro. This is shit you can do, my nigga. Yeah. You know, just, uh, let me talk, let me hit Amir up. Bro, Amir, what do I do after high school? Like, nigga, I don't fucking know. <laughs> it's like, I wouldn't want to be mean, but it's like, yeah, why you asking me this question, nigga? <laughs> hey, I mean, it's, it's people you can talk to. My nigga, <laughs> God damn me. Yeah. Hey. Well, I hear you, bro. Well, shit. Cause like I, I mean, said, the, the the videos. That's that's the therapy right there, bro. You don't need that. All that other shit. Where you ain't wrong, bro. Shit. Well, um, I mean, yeah, I hear you, but I don't know. It's just a part of my nature, bro. It was a it was another fellow YouTuber that was going through some shit. I ain't gonna say his name, but uh. He was going through some shit, and I asked him what was good with him, and he read my comment and say shit. So that was just me trying to fucking reach out to the nigga. So now you regret it. Know. You was like, "This what I get for trying to help niggas." Yeah, bro. Like, I was just like, "Yeah, bro." I was just like, "What the fuck?" Like, I'm just trying to like, and, and, and it's not even. I don't know when I'm nice for nothing. That shit hurts my feelings a little bit because it's like, it's like, nigga, like. Do you see me trying to be nice? Because niggas, niggas really know me for it. Go, you don't even fucking understand, bro. I, I am perceived as a chaotic person. I'm a, I'm perceived as a negative. No, I can see. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so this, so to hear this, this, like me being nice, like the whole negative shit is on YouTube, bro. Like the culture shit is is the negativity where all that shit lies at. But off the shit, bro. When I'm just being me. You know what I'm saying when I'm being Corey and shit like that, bro. Like I'm, 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 I'm positive. Like this is who I am. <laughs> That's his first name, man. <laughs> Word, bro. Yeah. Um, uh, but yeah, bro. When I'm being, when I'm off the camera and shit, bro, I'm being myself. I'm being positive. But that's, when that's one of the reasons I was so mad at old boy recording my live stream, put on another channel. I'm like, I feel like a live stream where I'm like at the crib chilling. Don't be showing niggas what my living room look like. What the fuck? <laughs> 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 niggas, niggas looking in the corner and shit like, I, I could have swore, swore I lived there before. I'm on the way. <laughs> <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> you got a nigga knocking on your door talking about some of the pizza here. Open the door and they got, and they got a whole ass tech on your skull, nigga. Oh, man, I use pine saw, too. That's what you got over there? It's like, nigga, wait. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. I'm never whole letting ass, that shit shot. go, bro. <laughs> I'm never letting that shit go. That shit happened, like, last, like, August, September. I'm holding you on to that. You talking about when the dude recorded your live stream? Yes. Oh, okay. <laughs> Put yeah. that shit on another channel. Like, he knows who he is, too. Whenever I see that nigga name, I think about this that This nigga, Mary, like, nigga, you know who the fuck you is, nigga. <laughs> <laughs> He do, you know, exactly he does, he is. though. That's the, that's, the, that's the sad part, though. He's going to watch this live stream and be like, damn. Like, he's been... Amir has told the story at least fucking, like, eight times, and that nigga's <laughs> been there every time he's told the story. And I know, and I know, he, and I know he's sitting there feeling shitty, like, damn, bro. Like, he was, I feel like he when you really, shit like that, you keep that type of shit to yourself, bro. Like, you know yeah, if you, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it, it's still guilty, but if that nigga would have just kept it in yeah. his phone, or, I mean, that that's really some on me. It's yeah, really, like yeah. I said, to like share it to the world, like that's some... <laughs> yeah. the, the worst part about that whole story is when this nigga didn't delete it, he made it private, and then I, I found that out. I'm like, bro, you didn't even delete the video, you made it private. What's wrong with you? He's gonna say, All right, man, damn, I'll delete it. <laughs> Ain't this a bitch? Like, what you mean? All right, man. Damn. <laughs> I'm like, I, I know you're not the one getting the attitude, nigga. <laughs> All right, man. <laughs> like, bro, I, I even, bro, I even be bringing it up. Culture will be like uh, on one of your live streams, chilling, and I'll be in the chat talking about it. This nigga will stop commenting for like a half hour. <laughs> 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 nah, bro. Here's the. Uh, yo, as soon as you say some shit, I look right up at the views of the viewers and shit. And how, how many niggas in the shit? That shit look drop by one every fucking time. Like, <laughs> <laughs> you don't want to face that shit. <laughs> I think I tuck his tail and run, bro. <laughs> he gone. <laughs> that nigga, that ass, he went from being one of my favorite subscribers to like my least favorite. I really hated that nigga for doing that, dog. Damn. 
It's sad, bro. Because that when I was not nowhere, when I was getting no views, had no subs, bro, that man was like one of the one or two niggas I see in my comments. And fast oh, he was forward. He was one of them niggas that just be in everybody comment section and shit. Probably, I mean, he. I, I'm not too sure, bro. I, I don't live his life, but I mean, he was watching the mirror. He was watching me, um, and you know, yeah, he a loyal ass yeah. like viewer and subscriber, and that's why I was so hurt that he was the one that did it. Like, this wasn't even no random ass nigga I didn't know about. He was like one of my favorite subscribers. So I'm like, bro, you nigga, come on, nah. Uh, despite the bullshit you and him going through, he's still one of my favorites. He just don't talk as much. I, yeah, I'm a little betrayed that he did. Yeah, because y'all called that nigga, nigga out. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not me. Not me. <laughs> get, get, get. That's the bully Damn. over there. That's not me. Chill, chill on me. Chill on me. <laughs> like, shit, chill forget, forget, Hell no. me. Mm-mm. Never, not a mirror. He ain't brought it. He, he even talking about that shit. Yeah, my nigga hold grudges like a motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> and no, it got it got to be something super severe that you did to make me not fuck with you to hold a grudge. Like it, I'll never hold a grudge over no petty shit. That was something for real. 